Hello fellow Helldivers, Thornton here, and one of the most infuriating thing in Helldivers as well, when you have to do some missions and you don't have any buddies to do it with. Well, today we're going to be talking about how we are looking to get some AI companions to actually help with that, along with that, the clan system coming to the game, and the brand new kick feature coming in tomorrow's update. We're going to go over all of that, but without further ado, let's jump into today's topic. So, with the Escalation of Freedom update that is coming out tomorrow, they are actually adding in a pretty cool new kicking function change that most of you might have already heard of. Simply put, as it's stated in this article and blog post, you'll still be able to kick a player willy-nilly. However, if you do so, they'll spawn in their own session with a duplicate of all their team's previous loot, which is actually a pretty good system, as kicking has been one of the major issues in Helldivers 2. But there's a problem that may not have been discussed so much, and that's if you're playing on a very high difficulty and you get thrown into your own lobby, since you've been kicked, now you have to go ahead and extract on a much more more harder situation with no backup whatsoever. Well, it looks like Arrowhead is actually working on addressing some of this because there is a droid helper in the game files that Iron Sights let us know about. The Hellbot has been renamed to Cha Droid Helper. Now, most of us are aware that this is actually going to be a vendor. It's going to be something that sells us items in the store. However, Iron Sights did say there is an audio string that says this Hellbot will stand in for your Helldiver squad mate, meaning that Arrowhead does seem to be working in the future to go ahead and make this a teammate if you get kicked from your lobby so that you can go ahead and have some help. This is actually a pretty great idea and I do hope that this is what ends up coming in fully. If you watched my video yesterday, you probably saw the Seaf drop where you actually go ahead and you get AI teammates running around in a vehicle, which also seems to be another addition that they're probably gonna add in to help players who get kicked and don't have any more teammates. It'll be interesting to see how this also comes in with the brand new clan system. We've known for a while that Iron Sights let us know there are a bunch of strings and references to it. In fact, there's gonna be an entire clan station where you you can hang out with you and your crew. There's gonna be platoon orders that are available to all members as long as the station is orbit around the local planet, meaning that you'll get special mission objectives if you go ahead and run with your clan. So if you're not someone who's gonna run around with your Hellbots or the Sea Troopers, the clan system is going to be very interesting in the near future. However, it looks like we'll also be getting clan stratagems, but we don't know too much about it. It could be the nuke, but going back to that vendor bot droid, Iron Sights did let us know a bunch of voice lines, and unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's gonna be coming anytime soon, or at least not until the Illuminate does, because it has a bunch of voice lines tied with the Illuminate, I'll go ahead and play it for you guys right here, and then we'll go over some progression systems we'll be looking forward to in the future. Tip number four, one, nine. Illuminate outposts are often heavily shielded and are best overcome with weapons boasting extreme destructive power. Tip number three, nine, four. During night missions, Helldivers are automatically granted access to the Flare Stratagem at no extra cost. Hooray! Beep boop. Tip number 836. Lying prone provides minimal protection against nearby explosions. Tip number 194. The longer a mission takes, the more aware of your presence the enemy will become. Non murderous butler. The election is approaching. Please be prepared to participate. Sales are the lifeblood of democracy. And also final. Tip number 119. Locate and successfully extract with Intel, and you will reveal an Intel mission. Hooray! Purchase complete. Please note, some samples are rarer than others. Pay careful attention to what your fellow Helldivers are doing. Tip number two, two, three. Research points are used to progress your Helldiver specialization and to access certain rare stratagems. Hooray! Please make your way to the Democracy Officer for the latest war briefing. Tip number six, two, six. Eagle aircraft must be rearmed during missions via the corresponding stratagem. This will restock their usage and their spirits. Self-diagnostic complete. Conclusion, not an automaton. Tip number four, one, one. When fighting, illuminate. Keep moving. Tip number three, two, nine. Each tier in your Heldiver specialization 
unlocks new items. Now that Hellbot audio comes from notable data miner Iron Sights on the Helldivers League subreddit. Now interestingly enough, he also showed us this new strange case icon which he dubbed Nuclear Football. And it is kind of intriguing, what could this briefcase possibly be? Astro, a data miner, said he hadn't seen this post on the topic board and then showed us a model of a science officer that is currently in the game files. Now in the first Helldivers game, science officers were NPCs that were actually on your ship. They gave you some tactical knowledge and information such as the one right here saying somehow I feel most at home when we are in deep space the tranquility of it the grandness almost brings a tear to my eye but everyone knows that hell divers and, and their companions don't cry so that was never gonna happen and interestingly enough the science officer has a badge saying that they know many things is that they are most likely going to be in the truster ministry of science faction now here are all the factions of super earth right now which could actually you know have their own additional crew member added into the files and added onto our ship with this new update there's the ministry of unity the ministry of truth the ministry of defense ministry of expansion and ministry of prosperity Parody, which we don't need anymore because we're going to take down the Illuminate, Terminids, Automatons. But it could be pretty cool because the science officers could also give us new ways to upgrade our weaponry. There was actually something found in the files thanks to AJ, also a data miner, NZKSO. And this is actually called a chem gun right here. Now it's just a reskinned flamethrower from what it looks like right here. There was an updated model added in after the fact. And this one is a little bit more different. It looks more polished, more finished, but it would be very cool if these things actually came from NPCs that we have with our fleet upgrades and crew members that we can bring on board our own super destroyers. And this would be one of those things where they go ahead and add in more ways and more customization for players to go on and grow. The new ship upgrades was excellent addition that they added in and adding new ways to expand upon that definitely seems like something that arrowhead is going to want to be doing especially with that found in the file let me know down below what are your guys' thoughts on ai super earth vendors coming to give us a bit of a hand not only with selling us stuff but also fighting alongside us also don't forget to check out this video and this video right here where i cover more news and information on helldivers 2 and until next time everyone thanks for stopping by keep spreading democracy